Oh man, I'm hungry for McDonald's. Look at this line. I can't stand when the line is huge at McDonald's. Man, it's taking forever. It's the breakfast rush. What do I order? Well, let's find out, shall we? Hello, order one hearty. Yeah, can I get an egg McMuffin without the Canadian bacon? And yeah, yeah, just a sandwich. And then can I get an egg and cheese McGriddle with, uh, yeah, just egg and cheese McGriddle without meat? And then can I get a um, frozen uh, cherry Fanta, medium size? And then I'll have a large ice water. Awesome, thank you. There you go. That's my order from McDonald's. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy, no matter where I'm at. I'm enjoying my egg and cheese McGriddle, like I said, and my traditional cherry fanta and today we're going to be talking about the dc solicitations for august so let me just finish my breakfast here and we'll get started <laughs> all right guys so here we go and it kicks off with batman the world that's right this is a huge book um, from Brian Azzarello, Lee Bermenjo is the artist in this. There's a lot of people attached to this. This is a book where writers have written Batman stories all around the world. So this is an anthology book. This thing goes for $25 and it's 160 pages. It's a hard cover. So if you're obviously into Batman and collected hard editions and things like that, anthology stories this might be one for you it launches which says september right but this is a solicitation solicitation for august so i don't understand that but just letting you know it's out there all right next we have batman fear state alpha issue one this is the event that's been a year in the making Woo, a whole year let me just tell you nevertheless i am excited for this Check out this like foil Fear State Alpha covers. This looks pretty badass. I definitely want to get this. The one with the scarecrow on it looks awesome. The one on the right, that's really cool. And then we get this one here where we got the designs of uh, the scarecrow and Peacekeeper 1 and whatnot. So, and I think this is crossing over with other bat titles also. And this one is really cool too, as you get to see Peacekeeper 1 with his uh, helmet all shattered, but he's got one lit eyeball and he's got the picture of Batman and he wants revenge on him, right? So Batman Fear State Alpha 1 goes on sale on August 31st. This one is five bucks, 40 pages. And of course the um, variant cover will run you about six bucks. All right, next we have I Am Batman Issue Zero. I'm probably not going to buy this. I don't even like the cover. Yep, cover's not my thing right there. Right? This cover looks better, though. But I don't know, man. I'm just not into this Batman. I never had interest in it. Um, I read the first issue from Future State, and I'm just like, eh, it's just not my thing. I like a, the current Batman. I don't need another Batman, right? So I am Batman issue story uh, issue zero. The story is done by John Ridley. Uh, Five dollar comic book and six dollars for your variant. All right, next we got the next Batman Second Son. Same thing here, right? And I guess this is a hardcover. I guess twenty four ninety nine. Discover the origin of the new Dark Knight, Tim or Jace Fox. The estranged son of billionaire Lucius Fox. So I guess we get that whole story of him. I'm not going to be buying it. Next we have Milestone Returns. Hardware issue one. I'm not familiar with this character. Um, so I could be missing something here. But this might be something I might check out. I love this cover that I'm showing you right now. 
looks pretty cool and it looks like it's done by seasons it says because it says season one number one um and it's written by brandon thomas so it looks pretty cool it's on sale on august 10th 2021 and it's a five dollar comic book and the one in 25 is five dollars also all right next if you like lock and key or you like the sandman universe you might like this this is lock and key hell and gone so here we got the variant cover here so it looks pretty cool and then you have another cover now i love lock and key but i never got into sandman so i probably will not be buying this myself this is written by joe hill which is a great writer seven dollars for this book it's 48 pages and it's coming out on the black label for 17 and older readers all right next we have batman 89 issue one so obviously this takes place during the time of michael keaton's batman so if you're a fan of those movies this might be a comic book for you <laughs> what is going on there what is up with that artwork who's harvey dent man interesting so this one is written by sam ham okay and this one is uh five dollars for this book all right and then next we have superman 78 so this is the other uh, book that's going back to the early days of the old school movies. I never realized that the original Superman came out in 1978. I think I, I felt like I saw it when I was older, it, but I saw it in the movie theater. Maybe that was Superman too. Anyway, here's your variant. Looks kind of cool. I don't know if I'll be buying this. However, it's Robert Venditti. Um, that actually is writing this book so i'm definitely on board uh if it is him so we'll see we'll see what happens with it four dollars 32 pages i normally wouldn't read this but like i said venditti's on the book yeah superman versus lobo look at this cover here huh story by tim seeley which is pretty cool but i don't know man i just don't know if i need this book but it's a black label, so it might be a little bit more violent. It's seven dollars, forty-eight pages. You get what you pay for, right? One of three. So in ages seventeen plus, so it actually could be a lot of fun. All right, let's check out this one: Batman Secret Files, Clown Hunter issue one. Haven't seen too much of Clown Hunter recently, but now he's going to be in the Secret Files. We're going to learn more about this character. We'll see. Look at this cover. Looks a little cartoonish, right? And I guess it kind of fits the character since he's a clown hunter. And there's this cover right here. So this one's written by Ed Brisson. Uh, $5 comic, 40 pages. All right, next we have another Batman-related book, which is a lot of them. This one is The Joker, A Puzzle Box. So this looks like it could be a really good, maybe, mystery comic. So, yeah. Matthew Rosenberg is the writer on this one. This one is $5 for 40 pages. And it goes on sale August 3rd of 2021. And it's a seven issue series. So yeah, that might be cool. All right. I'm not buying this. Pennyworth issue one of seven. As much as I love Alfred, I love old man Butler Alfred. I don't care if he was like 007 back in the day, real badass. Not my thing. I don't need to spend extra money on that. It's a $4 comic book. Yeah, just not my deal there. Stories done by Scott Brian Wilson. It goes on sale August 10th, 2021. All right, next we have... Aquaman and the 80th anniversary issue, 100 page, super spectacular. He's riding a flipping seahorse with horns. I don't know, man. I'm not buying this. <laughs> Look at this cover. Now he's on a stingray, or is that a manta ray? I don't even know, but I'm not buying it. Oh, this one's kind of cool. I like this cover. He's getting ready to battle a shark. There's sharks behind him. He's got mirror by his side. Okay. I like this cover. This cover is really pretty cool, actually. That's a nice one. So Dan Jurgens, Jeff Johns, Brandon Thomas, Chuck Brown, Stephanie Phillips, Michael Morsey, all these writers are connected to it. 
I'm still not buying it though. I'm not paying 10 bucks for another one of these 80th anniversary issues for a character I really don't care for. So I'm passing on that one. All right, next we have Batman Superman 2021 Annual. The cover's flipped upside down on one side. I don't get that. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so from what a lot of you are telling me out here, you're telling me that Batman Superman has been really, really good. And I should actually pick it up. So, I might give this a try. Where should I jump on at this point, guys? Let me know in the comments below, okay? This book is $6, 48 pages, and it comes out on August 31st. Alright, next. Now, this definitely has me interested. This is the Green Lantern 2021 annual, and it says, Welcome to the Sinestro Corps, Jessica Cruz. Now, this for me is a big deal. I love Jessica Cruz. I love everything that she's battled for, how to get over her anxiety issues. I think she's a great character. We haven't seen too much of her. We saw that one little story in that Green Lantern Future State issue where the yellow ring approached her and you were hinted that she would become a yellow lantern. And here on this cover, she's a yellow lantern. I am so curious what this story has to offer. This is a great cover. I want that cover. That is awesome. Wow, looks great. God, man, I wonder, I wonder what happened to her. This book is $6, 48 pages, comes out August 31st, and it looks like uh, the, Na the David Nakayama cover, which is this one right here, this one's gonna run you seven bucks. Uh, for me, that's worth it. I love that cover. Love the yellow. All right, next we have Harley Quinn 2021 annual. So we got a lot of annuals. I think because it's five weeks in August, so they're releasing a ton of these. And uh, that's a pretty nice looking cover. She's got the baseball bat. She's chewing gum. She's getting ready to hit a home run. I like the guns underneath her jacket there. That's pretty cool. Story is done by Stephanie Phillips. Um, August 31st, it's released. $6, 48 pages. We'll not be buying it though. All right, next we have Suicide Squad 2021 annual. So here we have the two super boys fighting each other, right? That's kind of cool, I guess. Story is written by Robbie Thompson, art by Dexter Soy. This is a $6 comic, 48 pages, and if you want that variant, it's $7. Who's excited for the Suicide Squad movie? I kind of am. I want to see this one. It looks better. Uh, Midnighter, 2021 annual. Do we need a Midnighter annual? I don't even know who the character is. I don't even know when he came around. Maybe I should do some research on him. I just, I know nothing about this character. So this is a pass for me. I'm definitely not checking it out. All right. <laughs> the Suicide Squad Case Files issue one. Here we got John Cena on the cover. That's pretty cool, man. He's got all these pigeons flying behind him. He's got his pistol there. They're definitely pushing Suicide Squad. Big time. Jerry Conway is the writer here. Art is done by John Byrne. It's 20 pages. I'm sorry, $20. 216 pages. This is a soft cover. So that's pretty cool. So you're going to discover all the villains of the, of the history. That's a nice cover there with Harley on there as well. And then next we have... Harley Quinn's Greatest Hits featuring the Suicide Squad. So this is $10, 168 pages, right? Man, you got all kinds of Suicide Squad. Look at this. Trial by Fire. Man, oh man. $20. 232 pages. So it looks like these are all soft covers. Oh my God. Suicide Squad their greatest shots they are pushing the heck out of this released on it says july why is this showing july i'm not even showing that the new 52 suicide squad what's happening volume one kicked in the teeth i remember when this came out this number one issue is actually worth some money with harley being on the team man she's so different there gosh so we got that and we got more suicide squad that has to do with Rebirth. Suicide Squad by Blood, <laughs> written by Tom Taylor. This 
unfortunately it was a series that ended way too soon and uh, I loved when Tom Taylor was on this book he did so well with all these characters and just like he's doing with Nightwing here I would have loved to seen you know what would have happened here with Suicide Squad going forward so that was a pretty solid little run that he had there it's 30 pa 30 pages it it's I'm sorry there was a big truck that honked its horn and scared the crap out of me this is $30 288 pages okay all right next we have some little kids book this is called Batman Robin and Howard by Jeffrey Brown ten dollars 160 pages there's more books in, in soft covers than there are comic books. Then we have uh, Shannon Hale and Dean Hale doing Amethyst, Princess of Gem World. That's great. That's good for younger audience, not for me. So let's see what else we got in here. If anything else is coming up. Free comic book day. What is happening? Free comic book day DC. Okay, Batman issue one. So that's cool. John Ridley, James Tiny in the fourth. Uh, Batman Fear State and I Am Batman. So I guess you're getting your first looks there on what's happening with the event. All right. Then we have a free comic book day, Suicide Squad, King Shark. So check that out if you're into King Shark, right? So written by Tim Seeley and Brian Azzarello. So that's good for a free comic book day. All right, now we're finally back up to regular comics here. We have Superman Action Comics issue 1034. What do you guys think of Action Comics right now? I have not read a single issue since well into Brian Michael Bendis' run. This one's done by Philip Kennedy Johnson. If it's good, let me know. I might try it once again. This one is $5.00. And uh, 40 pages. Comes out August 24th. Next we have Batman issue 111. Also featuring Ghost Maker. I know some of you guys like Ghost Maker. I'm not a fan of the current stories at the end of Batman. It definitely you know, drives up that price by a buck. Right? Here's your variant. $5.99. <laughs> Look at this cover. These sketch covers are pretty cool. And then we have this one over here. That's pretty awesome too. All right. And then we have Batman Reptilian. This is from Black Label. Uh, Garth Ennis is the writer of this. That is an intense picture there. Holy cow, what a cover. Here's another one. Batman protecting the Joker against this Reptilian. Man, what is this book going to be about? I'm looking forward to this one. At this point, this is at issue three. This comes out August 21st, uh, August 24th, 2021. And this one is $5. I can't read today. Jeez. All right. Ooh, Batman, The Adventures Continue, season two. This is issue three. I'm going to jump back on board in this when the first um, issue of this comes out. Looks like we got the Huntress there. Love Batman on top of the building. Playing tribute to the original animated series. That's awesome. This is really cool. <laughs> I love Alfred sitting there looking at the back computer. <coughs> All right. Next we move on. We got Batman Urban Legends. This is issue six. Still dealing with Red Hood. If it's not dealing with Red Hood or if this is the end of it, then I'm going to be jumping off board because I don't want to be continuing to pay this a lot of money for an anthology book. That's a cool cover, though. That's an even better cover. So if I buy this cover or this book, it's going to be for that cover right there. Wow, that's gorgeous. A book will run you eight bucks. All right, next we have Batman Catwoman by Tom King. Not reading it. have no interest in it. I gave it one issue and I couldn't stand it. And now a lot of people can't stand it. And we're still writing it at issue seven. So... Artwork, I'm sure, is absolutely beautiful inside by Clay Mann. He's a, a wonderful artist, but I just can't stand what Tom King did with Batman. So this one is $5. Right? Batman Superman issue 21. So we have an annual and issue 21 coming out. I'm a little confused. 
So here we have that cover as well. Where's, ooh, is that Tim on there? August 24th, 2021. Then we have Blue and Gold. So this is a, uh, a book with Blue Beetle and uh, Booster on there. That, that could be a lot of fun. Two of eight at this point. Not as cool as the cover. It's written by Dan Jurgens too. I think that could be a lot of fun. On sale August 17th. It's a $4 book. That's not bad. That's a good price. Catwoman, issue 34. This is another book that you guys have been telling me has been a really awesome read. Because, uh, what is it, Rom V is the one that actually writes this one. And I've been collecting this book, but I haven't been reading it. I've been collecting it for covers. Covers like this. I mean, these Jenny Frizen covers are gorgeous. <clears throat> you gotta love the facial features and expressions and the eyes and all that stuff. You know, so... But you guys have been telling me it's been good and I should read it. So maybe I should. This book is $4. The variant will cost you $5. And it's released on August 17th. All right. Next we have Challenge of the Super Sons. Issue 5 of 7. So if you guys love, you know, young Superman and young Damien hanging out together, you're going to be loving this book, right? I do not currently read it. Here's your variant cover. All right. That one is $4, 32 pages, on sale August 10th. All right. Next, we have Checkmate, issue three of six. You know, here we have uh, Green Arrow on there, Ollie. Well, like, when is he going to get his own book again? Like, I want to see a Green Arrow book. I miss him having in his own book. I'm not reading this book, not at all. I could care less. Brian Michael Bendis, yep, yeah, no, not my event, sorry. Crime Syndicate wraps up here in August 6th uh, of 6. Um, I thought the first issue was all right, but I just couldn't see myself reading this all the way through. And the Crime Syndicate I really enjoyed was the one from Forever Evil. I'm just stuck on that, you know. But this is written by Andy Schmidt, and it's released on August 3rd, 2021. $4 price tag. Remember, it's a conclusion, guys. All right, and then we have Crush and Lobo, uh, issue 3 of 8. Gotta love this cover as it plays tribute to uh, one of Lobo's original series way back. I don't know if it's a way, way or original, but one of his series from the 1990s where he had his back turned and he was wearing that vest and it said, bite me fanboy. <laughs> and so now his daughter's wearing it. So I think that's kind of kind of cool there while Lobo's still in jail. <laughs> that's pretty neat. And then we have a variant cover. I, I want to check this series out. I want to see how these two interact with each other. How their relationship actually develops. So that one's written by Marco um, Tamaki. And this one is $4. 32 pages. Released on August 3rd. Uh, we have DC Horror. The Conjuring. The Lover. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be buying this. I, I am a horror fan, but I'm just... I don't know if I can read Conjuring comic books, so that's just me though. So you might want to check that out if you're into that horror. Next we have Batman Detective Comics issue 1041. Batman looks dead, but there's no way he's dead, right? Lieber Menjo here. He always does some great covers, man. They are gorgeous. Detective has been a phenomenal book. I've really enjoyed it. With Dan Mora doing the artwork, it just adds so much to it also. So looking forward to this one. $5, uh, 40 pages, released on August 10th. Then we have Batman Detective Comics issue 1042. So this continues the story. Same creative team. Same variant cover artist. That looks pretty cool. Ooh, the art changes here. The art is done by Victor Bondanovich. Um, I think Dan Mora is off the book at that point because I heard that the Wolverine artist, which is Victor Bondanovich, uh, was taking over Detective. So I think Dan Mora is done now at this point. That's unfortunate because he's a really good artist, man, and I loved him on Detective. Oh, <laughs> what's going on here? Future State Gotham. You know, after reading issue one of Future State Gotham, I just was not a fan. I will not be reading this nope nope yeah not for me green lantern issue five 
I'm really enjoying the Green Lantern so far. I know there's a lot to digest. I know there's a lot of things changing. But what happened at the end of the issue of issue two, I was kind of blown away. I didn't expect to see that happening. We have a person that's obviously causing all this chaos for the Green Lanterns. I think it's that new female guardian. Uh, but here on this cover, we have a whole bunch of yellow lanterns. Uh, man, this is going to be, I think, a really great book going forward. Wow, look at that cover. So interesting. So interesting. Look at this cover. What is going on here? Whew. Suicide Squad. Oh, man. Really, really pushing it. Story by Jeffrey Thorne. So good. August 3rd. 2021 and it's a five dollar price tag for 40 pages all right then we have harley quinn issue six decent cover not gonna be reading it though i like this cover better and of course you have your suicide squad cover as well all right let's see what else we got we have icon and rocket issue two from Milestone, Milestone Returns. Really nice looking artwork, man. I don't know any about these covers, so I, uh, about these characters, so I don't know if I'll be checking it out. Oh, wow. We have Infinite Frontier issue four or six. I totally forgot about I Infinite Frontier. I, I, man, oh man. Didn't we only read this zero issue so far, or issue one? And this is advertising issue four, so I guess it's coming out every month now. Hey, we got Suicide Squad. So August 10th, 2021, five bucks for that. Oh, check out this cover right here. Infinite Frontier issue five. All right, Arsenal's on there. Jade's on there. That's cool. Characters we haven't seen in a while. But in case you don't want that and you want more Suicide Squad, check out this cover instead. <laughs> oh boy. All right, Justice League issue 66. Guys, let me know in the comments below. What are you thinking about Justice League right now? Let me know. I'm not a fan. It's okay. I have read a lot worse, but I'm just not into it, though, as much as maybe I should be. That's a cool Batman cover. All right. Let's see here. And then we have Justice League issue 67. I love the all green. That's pretty neat. That's a gorgeous cover too. Have a boatload on there. That's really, really nice. All right. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Justice League Infinity issue two. Look at that artwork on that cover. So cartoony. Pretty neat. Story by J.M. Dematis and James Tucker. This book is four dollars, thirty-two pages, on sale on August third. Justice League Last Ride. So now. I prefer this Justice League over Brian Michael Bendis' Justice League any day. All right, so this is uh, issue four. Oh, check out that cover with Martian Manhunter. Isn't he supposedly dead? <laughs> Didn't Batman supposedly kill him? I don't know. We'll see, man. Pretty interesting stuff. Four bucks, 32 pages. Goes on sale August 10th, guys. Legends of the Dark Knight issue four. Here's another cover. How many Batman books can we have? Or Batman re family related books can we have? Right? Stephanie Phillips. $4 book. 32 pages. There we go. Next we have Mr. Miracle. Issue 4 of 6. The Source of Freedom. Not a Mr. Miracle person either. And I apologize if I don't sound as positive as some for some of these books i just i'm not i've never been the hugest dc fan because i always when i was a kid read, read a lot of marvel but here's a book that is awesome nightwing this is issue 83 i love this book one of my favorite dc titles as of right now tom taylor is doing a great job can't wait to see what <laughs> i've checked this out we got Haley the dog getting ready to pee on the fire hydrant. Wow. Oh, Dick is on the phone. I love it. So cool, man. $4, 32 pages. Comes out August 17th. Robin, issue five. How many of you guys read Robin issue two this past week? So good. And uh, 
here we have all the Robins on there. So it says Rumble of the Robins. So very curious to see what this story has to offer at this point. Um, but I loved Robin issue one and issue two. Really cool looking book, man. Here's the cover with Flatline on there. So that's neat. That one's coming out on August 24th. And then we have the continuation of Rorschach. There's your other cover here. <laughs> it's got pizza in the garbage. Issue 11. It's written by Tom King. Not currently reading this one either. Being released on August 10th. And we have RWBY Justice League issue 5. August 24th. Not reading that. Issue 5 of 7. If you're the child out there or adult that loves Scooby-Doo, well, where are you? Our Roo Rummy. I don't think we're insured against mummy attacks. Yep. $3, 32 pages. Every comic should be $3. Sensational Wonder Woman. Not reading it currently. That's issue six. Pretty gorgeous looking covers on there. This one's being released on August 3rd, $4. And then we have Shazam. This is issue two of four. So you guys into Shazam out there. We have a new mini series at least. And this is from the pages of the Teen Titans Academy uh, from Future State. So I think we're going to be getting um, his actual little storyline there going on. Here's your variant cover. Tim Sheridan's The Writer. Four dollars, thirty-two pages. Static. It's getting ready to come out. Issue three, season one. How many of you guys are Static fans out there? August seventeenth, twenty twenty-one. Four dollars, thirty-two pages. Oh my gosh, more Suicide Squad. I lost track on how many Suicide Squad books are coming out. This is issue six. Didn't I talk about an issue already? Robbie Thompson, August 3rd, 2021. My gosh. Oh, my God. Suicide Squad, get Joker. That might be cool. That's an interesting cover, too. I like Harley sitting there. Looks like she's got her old squad there from the last series. Because of the dude with the wings, right? Brian Azzarello is the writer on this one. $7.48 pages. Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, issue three of eight. Not reading it. Nice cover though here. That's that's pretty good artwork. Tom King, five dollars. Released August seventeenth, twenty twenty one. Superman and the Authority. That's issue two. This one's uh, done by Grant Morrison. goes on sale August 3rd 2021 we got more there that's an interesting cover oh my gosh it's a little dark all right more Superman Superman red and blue issue six there's all your covers all right. Tom King August 17th six dollars 40 pages Superman, Son of Kal-El. Looking forward to this series. I'm kind of excited about it. I want to see things. Well, this kind of looks a little weird. <laughs> Look at those teeth. I like Crypto, though. He looks cool. This is, a, this is a decent cover, I guess. Four bucks, 32 pages. All right. What else we got here? Teen Titans Academy, issue six. I don't know. Hopefully it makes it to issue six for me. Tim Sheridan goes on sale August 24th, $4. Ooh, and then we got more Batman Scooby Doo Mysteries, issue 5 of 12. Huntress is on there. She's looking a little risque for a kid's book, isn't she? Showing too much uh, midsection there. All right, let's see, we got The Flash, issue 773. Looks like we got a different story arc at this point. Jeremy Adams. All right, five bucks for that book. 
And then we got the Joker issue six, man. I want to see where we're at with this by the time we get to issue six. <laughs> Is that punchline there? Like, what's going on, man? Oh, look at this weird cover. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Suicide Squad covers are killing me. There's that. All right, let's see what we got here. The House on the Lake. This is book three. This first issue comes out actually this new comic book week. I cannot wait to see what the heck this story is about. James Tiny in the fourth writes it. $4 goes on sale August 3rd. We got the Swamp Thing, issue six of 10. So we're over halfway done with that one. Look at that cover. Wow, that's amazing. So, so good. Of course, it's got the Suicide Squad on there. Oh, man. Then you got Truth and Justice, issue 7. Nice cover with Zantana on there. Gorgeous cover. Five bucks, 40 pages. Wonder Girl. Woo! That first issue was amazing. Here's the variant. $4, 32 pages, August 24th. Then you got the normal Wonder Woman series. 777. Make a wish, everybody. Lucky sevens. Suicide Squad cover. Pick it up today. Man, oh man. Then it's Wonder Woman 778. That's an interesting cover. She just looks lost. <laughs> it's like, oh crap. All right. Wonder Woman Black and Gold. Wow. I love the colors of that, but I don't know if I like Wonder Woman on that. This is an interesting cover, too. So there you guys have it. There are the DC solicitations for August. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Guys, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And until next time, Enjoy those comic books, guys. Take care.